Hello everyone and welcome back. This is Paul from TechLink and in today's video I want to talk to you about how you can connect an USB condenser microphone to your iPhone. I'm also going to show you the product I'm using, the reason why I chose this product and also how you can get the best out of it. So make sure to stick around till the end of the video to find out everything about this product. Now for the purpose of this video I'm going to be using a Fifine K678 USB condenser microphone with a built-in preamp. It's a plug and play microphone so it doesn't require any additional software. Very easy to use and set up and I'm going to connect this to an iPhone XR. In order to connect these two devices you are going to need one of these lightning to USB free camera adapter. This allows you to connect pretty much every USB device from keyboards to microphones and so on. And it works with both iPhones and iPads. And now the reason why I chose this over regular lightning to USB female adapter is that you get this extra lightning port that allows you to plug in your charger. So you might be wondering why do you need to plug in your charger? Well, let me break it down for you. Most of these USB condenser microphones come with a built-in preamp and an analog to digital converter which require an extra amount of voltage to be powered on. The ones that come with an XLR cable will take the needed power from the phantom power supply but the USB ones need to take that power from the USB port so unless the output source provides sufficient power it won't switch on however all this depends on the microphone you are trying to connect so for example this Fifine K678 needs a 5 volts and 80 milliamps power in order to work while the iPhone XR has an output of around 200 milliamps so in this case like I will show you now this will be sufficient to power on this microphone and make it usable I will connect the USB of the microphone to the adapter and plug it into the iPhone and as you can see from the green light the microphone is powered on and to show you that it actually works I'm going to record my voice on this iPhone using a voice recorder app This is a test of the lightning to USB free camera adapter connecting a condenser microphone to an iPhone. And stop. I'm going to unplug now the adapter so you can hear the recording. This is a test of the lightning to USB free camera adapter connecting a condenser microphone to an iPhone. But as I mentioned earlier, this is just my case. Some other USB microphones might require a higher power supply and this is where this lightning port comes handy. If you plug in your charger, you will increase the power provided up to 1000 milliamps, which is the output of an Apple charger. This is very useful if you do, let's say, streaming. You can use the USB microphone and your iPhone will be charged at the same time so you won't run out of battery. I will leave a link down below for you to check it out if you're interested in buying this adapter. I would recommend you to buy the Apple product as they seem a bit more sturdy and durable over time. But there are some cheaper alternatives as well. I will link them both in the comment section. Please know that these are affiliate links which means I get to earn a few pennies from each order. It doesn't cost you anything extra and I get that tiny commission as a sign of appreciation. So if you're planning on buying one, please buy it from those links. And that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you would like to see more tech related content, please subscribe to the channel. And like always, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.